Plans have been strengthened to ensure Singapore is on track to achieve its long-term vision of a clean and green transport system. Strategies for more sustainable land, air and sea transport sectors are full steam ahead. Nadia Mokhtar reports. All vehicles on roads will run on cleaner energy by 2040. After 2030, we should see no new purchases of internal combustion engines, uh, internal combustion engine vehicles, ICE vehicles. Today, we have close to 900,000 ICE vehicles, and this will require an extensive transformation of the fleet, significant changes in commuting and consumer behavior, and uh, the development of the necessary supporting infrastructure. At the core of this strategy are electric vehicles. Apart from making sure that public charging infrastructure is sufficient, 28,000 charges being the current goal, incentives need to be attractive. That's why existing EV owners who aren't eligible for the early adoption incentive announced at budget will benefit from a technical revision to the variable component of their road tax. This starts on the 1st of January 2021 and will see a reduction in road tax for all electric cars. And that's not all. As a special transitional arrangement, we will exempt them from the additional flat component of the new EV road tax that was introduced at this year's budget. This component will be waived for a three-year period from the 1st of January 2021 to the 31st of December 2023 for all EVs registered before this period. Regulations will also be updated to keep pace with technology. CHADIMO, a Japanese fast charging method for EVs, will be approved as an optional public charging standard. This means buyers will have more choice when it comes to EV models. Motorcyclists won't be left out either. Higher powered electric motorcycles will be allowed from the 1st of April. Meanwhile, Singapore will contribute towards the sustainability goals set by the International Civil Aviation Organization. The aim is to improve fuel efficiency by 2% each year and achieve carbon neutral growth starting this year. The use of sustainable aviation fuels is also being explored. Singapore houses key global aerospace companies and fuel producers such as Rolls-Royce, Shell and Nestle. The government and the industry players are studying different business and technological models to enable economically viable and sustainable aviation fuels supply chains in Singapore. And a Maritime Singapore decarbonisation blueprint will be launched next year. This will chart our long-term maritime sustainability over the next three decades.